most people that have chronic fatigue syndrome or Lyme disease or uh, fibromyalgia, they never recover. I also was in a position where I went to about 20 specialists, neurologists, pneumologists, general internists. I tried so many alternative therapies, went to so many GPs, had a lot of blood checks, but there was never really someone that could point out to me what was wrong. Hello, my name is Thomas, I'm 25, and the last few months a lot has changed in my life. In October, I found a video of the Maharishika about a Kundalini disturbance. There was a person that came to her in an open satsang that had a lot of distress. And he was basically suffering from so many things physically and emotionally. And I was experiencing the same thing. I had chronic fatigue syndrome for nine years. And uh, I had a list of about 60 symptoms. And on one Sunday night in October, I found that video and there she showed him a certain posture, a physical posture called Sustanga Namaskar. I did that posture after watching the video and I started to feel like a shift in me instantly. I started to feel a bit more energy, my eyesight was better and as the days went on I continued to watch a lot of videos and two days in my energy had doubled. I went from about 20% of the energy of a normal person so about 40% and it was like, wow, I felt a lot of joy as well, which before I, I never really felt. And then I decided I want to go and meet the Maharishika. I want to go and meet her because just by watching the videos, just watching them with as much focus as I could, I started to feel things shift in me. There was tension being released. There was joy coming up. I also remember that the first few nights of watching those videos, I had so much more energy that I could not fall asleep for like two or three hours. But at the same time, even though I, I slept less, I felt energized. And after about a week, I started biking like um, 20 to 40 kilometers a day. I started doing yoga. And before, I was hardly able to even change my bed sheets or to blow air in my in my tires and my, my bike. So I decided to to look for an opportunity to, to be in her presence. And then I found that there was uh, gonna be uh, an immersive in Tiruvannamalai in the south. So I uh, immediately booked my flight, uh, I registered for the immersive, and then I went to the immersive uh, two months later. By the time I went to the immersive, my health had gone up so much. My symptoms had gone down by 70, 80%. Uh, and then I went to the immersive, and there it was like, it was only six days, but Every day felt like a year of spiritual progress. I also remember that the first day my ears started to open up a bit. Uh, for seven years, I've had so many problems hearing. And after the first day, my hearing had improved by maybe 10, 15%, but it was so much better. And things like that continued to happen. On the fifth day of the immersive, I felt like I had 100% of my energy. After the immersive, I went back home for about a month and my family just, they saw so many changes in me. I started to give a lot more. I started to cook for the family. I started to take care of family business. Uh, I slept only for about six, seven hours. Well, before I needed at least 10 hours of sleep, sometimes 12. I was able to start to work out. And then after a month being at home, I came back to India uh, to attend the open satsangs here in Rishikesh. And I feel like right now, being here for six weeks, my energy has once again gone up by 50%. Right now I can, yeah, work, just physical work. I've also gained some, some strength. Sometimes I walk for like 10 kilometers a day. Every day I can actually do physical activities. And my list of 60 symptoms, physical symptoms, and also a lot of emotional symptoms. I would say that by now, 90% has gone away and the remaining symptoms are also like fading more and more and more and more and more and there's also just a lot more joy in my life. Until five months ago I thought that I would not be able to do a normal job. Even part-time uh, working would be very hard for me. I was at home for about a year after graduating uh, from university because I thought I cannot work with all these symptoms and I gotta find out what is wrong and right now I have found that. And I found a solution. And not only has it brought back my health, it has also brought so many other things. Like, for example, right now I feel that I can be a father in a year or so. 
But before I thought I would never be able to be a father because I was so weak physically. And, and also emotionally, mentally, I did not feel ready for it. And right now here in India, I've been around kids uh, a lot more than, than I used to in Belgium. And uh, yes, it, there's so many things that are changing. In the past, every time when I was going to leave, I was already stressed like a day before. The day itself, I was super stressed. Right now, I'm gonna leave in like 30 minutes and I feel quite relaxed. There's more and more this feeling of living in the moment. I used to be very neurotic. I was constantly controlling everything. And right now, it's like, I'm more and more able to just be here and trust that everything will work out, that everything will, will fall into place. And that for me is a, is a major shift in, in the way I live. And that is also contributing to my health because there's more flow and there's more trust in myself, but also in the people around me and in life in, in general, that everything will just work out. Like also, for example, with the health issues, right now, more than 90% of them are gone. And I just forget about how it was actually. Like, that's a crazy thing because people with chronic fatigue syndrome they're so sucked in into that experience and once the symptoms start to go you can just start to live and you and you just you know there's so many other things you can do i start to take care of family issues that have been lingering for years i can start to work out like i was saying i feel like i can have children in maybe a year or two years and start a family and so you just move on most people that have chronic fatigue syndrome or lyme disease or uh, fibromyalgia they never recover I also was in a position where I went to about 20 specialists, neurologists, pneumologists, general internists. I tried so many alternative therapies, went to so many GPs, had a lot of blood checks, but there was never really someone that could point out to me what was wrong. Even though about three years ago, I already started to go on a spiritual path because I felt somewhere deep inside that that was going to give me the answer. It was only when I found the videos that it was actually a real shift before. It was more on the surface. I had some improvements here and there, but like right now, my energy is five times the energy of five months ago. And yeah, that's that would not have been possible if I would not have found videos. So yeah, I feel like right now, this is the way for me to live for the rest of my life. For me, I started to recover so fast but once I start to let my ego come up too much, then very fast I start to get some symptoms again. Like it's not like I go back fully, but for example, have less energy or have a bit more tension in the body. It's just about living soul based for the rest of your life. But it feels, you know, radically different and a lot better. And not just a lot better, like the last few days I've had so many moments where living was just magical. Even though starting to live in a soul-based way sometimes does not give you the choice to choose like what you're gonna do, but going with that um, impulse of the soul is just what gives you freedom. It's just what gives you this joy and then there's nothing to escape anymore. Like for example, also, I used to be addicted to masturbation, to watching porn. That is all gone. Since the first time I've seen her in Tiruvanna Malai, none of that has come up anymore. Also insomnia. Right now, every time when I go to bed, I fall asleep after a couple of minutes. When I came here, I had so much back pain. I can hardly do this. And right now, I can just bend like this. Maybe even go further with other clothes. Um, also, a couple of months ago, I could not do this. I could not do this. I could only do like this. Yeah. <laughs> so I can only just advise you to watch the videos and if they inspire you, to be in our presence maybe before that to participate in an online uh, satsang because almost every sunday there are those satsangs sometimes they are free or audio satsangs sometimes you have to pay a fee for them but you know even those are already like a big thing and a first step to be in our presence and if then if you can come and do an immersive like i did i can just advise you that you know with all my heart and yeah and just come to India, like being in India is also an extra experience. It's people are just living much more in the moment in general. It's not just in our community. Um, 
in India in general, people are like living way more simple lives. And they're not constantly thinking. Like, I remember that in Tour of Malai, there was a taxi driver that saw that I was thinking and he actually considered thinking as a disease. Here you, you, you start to use thinking when it's necessary and you start to let go of all that compulsive overthinking. And that's also something that just gives you joy. And, uh, yeah. I wish you best of luck. If you have similar issues like, like I had, you can recover. And uh, yeah, best of luck with that. Namaskar.